Remember, never use soap or detergent on any part of the aquarium or anything that goes in it. Keeping a regular maintenance routine for your aquarium can save a lot of time and prevent any potential mishaps with your aquarium. And generally, well, it just makes it a lot easier to maintain. When cleaning the glass, use an Aqua One 4-in-1 algae scraper regularly. Scrape away any algae growing on the front of the glass of the aquarium and wipe away any algae from filter pipes and accessories. Most of the dirt will develop in the gravel, so use the Aqua One gravel cleaner. This will remove water from the aquarium during a water change. Anytime you're removing water from the aquarium, make sure you switch off the pumps, filters and heaters. These devices are designed to be used in the water and they'll overheat when used out of water. Any tap water used to replace or top up the aquarium must be first treated with Aqua One water conditioner. Use the directions on the bottle to work out how much water conditioner to add to your water. With water conditioner, it's always better to overdose than to underdose. Every couple of months, take apart any water pumps you have and using an Aqua One pipe brush, clean out the inside of the outlet impeller and housing of the pump. Get familiar with how to service your pump. Also use the pipe brush to clean any pipes connected to the filters as algae growth eventually slows the flow of the filter. When cleaning your filter, rinse the black sponge, noodles and any other biological media. It's really important you only ever clean your biological filtration in water that you siphon from the tank and then discard. Never use tap water as chlorine kills that important bacteria which is responsible for the whole biological filtration process. Cleaning biological media in water from the tap may cause some of your fish to die. If your Aqua One aquarium has carbon or a carbon cartridge, it's important to replace it every one or two months. The more frequently, the better. Rinse the carbon weekly in tank water to keep it free of solid waste. Aqua One has a very useful spare part numbering system to help you find the correct spare part for your equipment. Each filter has a sticker on the back with a code that corresponds to the correct spare part you'll need. On the spare parts packaging, you'll find a dot near the top, which will quickly and accurately match the part to your equipment code. It's that easy. If necessary, ask your Aqua One spare parts dealer for any assistance. Once again, note that water pumps or power heads are water cooled. So if they run out of water, they'll end up melting and the impeller will be unable to spin. If your pump or filter ever seems to stop working, take it apart, give it an extra clean and put it back together again. This will solve most problems. If the water pump seems to have lost pressure or become noisy over time, the impellers need to be replaced. Old impellers will often appear worn or scratched or cracked. Make sure to also replace light tubes annually to ensure that constant intensity and light spectrum are maintained. It's recommended you find out about the lighting requirements of the coral and the plants you're keeping. Plants and some corals will need a different light spectrum and you may need to replace the light which came with your aquarium with a different Aqua One light globe. If you suspect your aquarium is leaking, perform a series of checks to make sure the cause is not faulty assembly. Make sure spray bar holes are not pointing up. Spend a minute watching carefully the way the water is flowing through the filter. Make sure the water level is not too high. If an air stone is being used, check it isn't bubbling water over the rim or onto the lid. Make sure the aquarium is sitting completely level. Remove any salt creep that may have formed. Next, turn off the power head and mark the level of the water. Wait for an hour and see if the level's dropped. 
If the tank is leaking, contact your local Aqua One dealer. Your local Aqua One dealer is the best source of information and guidance to help ensure you have a happy and healthy aquarium.